In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic list so that you can suppress competitors from receiving your marketing. So log into Pardot and go to Prospects and then go down to Segmentation Lists. So what we're going to do is create a dynamic list that's going to uh, hold all of our competitors, automatically match any competitors, and then we can use that dynamic list in different areas as a suppression list to prevent those people from getting the marketing. So the first thing to do would be to create a dynamic list. So click the add list button and we'll call this competitors. You can put it in a folder and apply a tag if you wish, and then check the box for dynamic list. Now you'll notice there's no place here for us to mark this as a suppression list. Uh, Cause that doesn't happen at the list level. That happens when you're ready to send an email or, or start a campaign. So let's add some rules so that we can start pulling people onto this competitor list. Now there's, you know, there's a couple ways we could go about it. Um, we could create a rule that looks at the company name of a given prospect. Uh, and so if it's the name of the competitor, then they get added to the list. That's okay, but the problem is gonna occur if somebody just fills out a form and they never make it far enough into Salesforce to be associated with an account. Um, or if they don't necessarily put their company name in a form or if you don't ask them that particular question in a form. So the safer thing is to actually look at the email domain. So if you go to prospect default field, we can find that email field. And then we can use the contains um, action here to, to try and um, pull out those competitor domains. So for example, we could say, you know, any email address that includes at competitor.com. And let's do another one. Let's say, you know, at competitor2.com and so on and so forth with a semicolon between them. Anybody who matches this criteria, they have a domain name from a competitor. They're going to get pulled onto this list. Go ahead and click run rules once you're happy with it. Give it a few minutes, it'll run through the database and, and pull people onto it. But the good thing about setting this up as a dynamic list is that in the future, if somebody from that competitor fills out a form, they're automatically gonna be added to this list. Now, but you can also see kind of where it breaks down. You're gonna to have to come back here and add domain names as you uncover more competitors. Um, and it's always possible that somebody would sign up with say their personal email address instead of their business email address. And then we don't really have a good way of filtering them out in that particular case. So we've created our dynamic list. Now let's talk about where it would come in handy uh, as a suppression list. So under email, whether you're sending a list email or you're gonna create an engagement program, you can set a list to be uh, used for suppression. So let's just go into this list uh, email draft that I've got. And then under the sending area for this email, you can see you've got the list that you wanna send to, and then you've got the suppression list here. So to make sure this isn't gonna go to competitors, just choose that competitors list under suppression, and you'll be good to go. Well, I hope that helps, and I'll see you in the next video.